Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some gourmet Jimmy's cookies. We've never heard of Jimmy's cookies before and we found five different varieties at the liquor barn of all places. These were $4.49 uh, a container. The liquor barn, uh, we didn't even know, has a frozen section. Mm -hmm. And they uh, these were in the frozen section. So you buy them frozen and then you bring them home and you lay them out. Uh, so we have the um, chocolate chunk, the chocolate chunk walnut, double chocolate walnut. Oatmeal raisin and cranberry walnut. You want me to... I'll pile them up over here. So like I said, $4.49 for the container. Let's see how many are in here. You get uh, uh, 11 servings of one cookie. So there's 11 cookies in here. One cookie is 120 calories. And these are made by Jimmy's Cookies in Clifton, New Jersey. It's www.jimmyscookies.com. So they might be really, really popular in the Northeast and we just haven't heard of them here. So. Pretty decent size. I mean, they're not huge, but they're not small. It's just a, a regular size cookie. Yeah. We don't just think. Yeah, it's just a cookie. And to come from being frozen and we just laid them out. I think it's a nice cookie. Mm -hmm. It, um, you get little sugar crystals in it. Mm -hmm. It's not um, ooey gooey. However, if you stuck it in the microwave for a few seconds, I think it would be. Be good. They're a little tough, like chewy. Yeah, it's a chewier cookie. Mm -hmm. But they're not bad at all. They're real, I like the flavor of them all. I think it's just as good as a soft batch. It's better than a soft batch because soft batches are really like. Artificial really, flavor. Uh, very artificial, and this very chewy. Have that. That's true. Um, these are more just like dense, chewy. And that's very true. This is the chocolate chunk walnut, and yeah. these are 130. But I would consider these like a soft batch cookie, honestly. Wow. Okay, chocolate chunk walnut. So you get chunks of chocolate and walnut. Yeah, I see walnuts all through there. Oh yeah. That big hunk right there. I like the layer. They're not quite as chewy. I got the texture of the walnut. Mm. Uh, I get the walnut after. Because I didn't taste walnut at all until after I'd eaten you it. You do. That's yeah. weird. Yeah, I didn't get walnut at all when I was mm -hmm. chewing it. No. But it's in my teeth. That's where it's coming from. It's Could like be. when salt gets in your teeth. Yeah. When I chewed that walnut, it got in my teeth, and now I'm getting the walnut. Yeah. You're right. It's good. It's a good cookie. I think walnuts are very underused a lot in baking. Um, I don't like them, just don't like them. I love walnuts. Now, not, walnuts not black walnuts. Black walnuts are Too very, small. very, very strong and bitter. Regular walnuts are absolutely delicious. Um, I think those are great. Those are very, very good. Um, it's amazing that those cost the same as the other ones because you, usually the ones with nuts are more. Uh, these are uh, double chocolate walnut, and they're 120 calories. 120 calories a cookie. I have to say the packages uh, have been real easy to open. It closes nice. Um, so these well, are a good thick cookie. If it's one below that, they really have one thing. Mmm. Yeah, look at that one. I love the dense chocolate peat chunks. Mm -hmm. And they are chunks. With the walnut. That one's good too. I would swear I got a little bit of cinnamon. I don't get that. I didn't really get the walnut flavor either. <coughs> At the very, very end. <coughs> it was mostly just a chocolate flavor for me. At the very, very end, something reminded me of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I do not see cinnamon in here, but no, I'm telling I you, cinnamon. I didn't get that till the end. That was weird. Yeah. 
I do like those quite a bit, but I like the chocolate chunk walnut more. I do too. The, the chocolate kind of, the darker chocolate kind of kills the walnut flavor. You really don't get the walnut flavor. No, you, right. Where you, as you got the walnut in the chocolate chunk. Yeah. Uh, these are oatmeal raisin, and they're 110 calories a piece. I love a good oatmeal raisin. So this is the lowest calorie one, and these, these look homemade. I mean, wow. I want this one. Well, my raisin fell off. I was going to show you this because it had a huge raisin on it like that, but but they all have big raisins. That definitely has some. Mm. It's good. I don't care for the cinnamon. It's a good oatmeal raisin cookie. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have the chocolate chip ones, but but I do like it. If they had done oatmeal raisin and not put the cinnamon, yeah. I would have loved it. There is a little bit of a different flavor in them. Because I love the uh, I love the oatmeal. I love the the texture. The raisin was a big plump raisin, but the cinnamon is a very very strong powder earthy cinnamon. It's almost like something artificial in there. I do not like that cinnamon. I mean, uh, you know how mal um, maple syrup comes across as artificial chemical like mm -hmm. flavor? That has a chemical like flavor to me. It, it, it has to be that cinnamon. Because that's is. what, I mean, the, the, I just don't care for the cinnamon. Yeah, there's something in that one I just don't like at all. The last one is cranberry walnut. <laughs> Um, it says, uh, finest ingredients, no preservatives, made with butter, no hydrogenated oils. They all said that. I just didn't read it. Uh, this one, one cookie is 120 calories. Yeah, that's disappointing too, because I, I normally like an oatmeal raisin cookie. That one I just don't like. Uh, look at the cranberries. Mm hmm And it looks like, uh, white chunks in there. Or walnuts. There's walnuts in there. Mm-hmm. Well, that one's a chewier cookie like the first one. Yeah, this one has a lot of walnuts and cranberry. It's like someone's made a batch, honestly, of homemade cookies. Mm -hmm. And they're selling them. Those are nice. Those are okay. I wouldn't get those or the raisin ones. Again. I like the flavor of the cranberry. The walnut uh, does not stand out in that to mm -hmm. me at all. I don't know why, but it gets lost in there. Or maybe I just didn't get a good bite with walnut. That could be it too. Mm -hmm. No, I wouldn't get that. But I definitely, my least favorite, because somebody has to come in last. It's oatmeal raisin. Oatmeal raisin. No. And, and it's, it is only because of the, the cinnamon. It, the cinnamon just ruined it yeah, for me. Yeah, something tasted artificial in there, chemical-like in there to me. So I wouldn't get either one of those ever. The cranberry, yeah, I've got a little bit of a yeah. funkiness, a funky flavor I left over from the cranberry well, walnut. Maybe it's something they soak them in or something, I don't know. I agree. But either one of the, any of the three of the chocolate chunk kind of Yes, uh, my cookies. very favorite would be the chocolate chunk walnut. Mine would just be the chocolate chunk, just the regular one. I, Although that one's really right there too. I'm, yeah, I'm going to go for chocolate chunk walnut and then double chocolate walnut and then just the chocolate chunk. Yeah. Uh, because I do, if I can have the walnut over just plain chocolate chip cookies, I'm going to have something with a walnut. But uh, but I do think these were absolutely worth the money. Yeah. Um, the only ones, though, like I said, I wouldn't ever yeah, buy these the fruit two, ones Yeah, I wouldn't buy these again. But if you've heard of these... Let us know where where do you see them? Where do you buy them? Because Liquor Barn was a very very odd place to see these, and we've never seen them anywhere else around here. Mm -hmm. And so that was just just an odd place to find them. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.